Hello, you all. You already know we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We gonna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have the Ace of Cups, the Strength, and the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody's passions are awakening. Okay, somebody could have some sort of gift. That they feel secure in something is awakening, something is bringing a new beginning here. Somebody's passion, somebody has strength too. Yeah, somebody could have been working on some type of projects and stuff, learning new things as well. We have the Eight of Swords. Somebody may have not been speaking or focusing on anybody else. They just been trapped in their projects, trapped in their new beginnings, trapped in their blessings, trapped in their passions with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, doing what they love. The lovers to the Ace of Wands, doing what they love, climbing the mountains, using their creativity. You know, putting all of their energy into whatever they've been working on here. And there could have been somebody who wanted this person to lose this or separate them from it. By the way of, you already know, somebody was doing some magician work to try to separate somebody from what they were locked in on. Which is their new beginnings, their awakening, their blessings, their passions, you know, what they love to do their creative projects, them planning, getting into alignment with whatever they've been creating and working on, and somebody been locked into that stuff. I mean, like Eight of Swords, not talking, not focused on anybody else, not seeing, not talking, just straight focused on that. And somebody has been trying to manipulate and do magician work to separate this person from their new beginnings from their creative energy, um, from what they like to do, trying to tie this person up in magic with the two of pentacles, trying to have them tied down, try to make them go through, you know, ongoing battles financially and, you know, possibly even with other people and things of that nature. But whoever was doing this and, and working hard to manifest against somebody in this manner, they're going to regret it. They wanted this person to miss opportunities and all types of stuff. So they came up with a bright idea to do whatever this is. It's weird. Somebody could have even traveled to a foreign place here with the, you see the six of swords with this three of wands. Somebody could have even traveled to a foreign place to get something done, to have some form of control or to cause a tower. They wanted all of this person's new beginnings to collapse. Ten of swords. And then here go the Ten of Swords again. Like, this person did some shit. <laughs> oh, shit. The Ten of Swords back to back. This person did some shit to try to cause some towers. They could have even did it more than once. They did some shit to try to cause. They did this shit up to, like, 20 times. Like, some insane shit. But whatever it is, it's an ultimate betrayal. Like, it's real bad. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Whatever this person did to try to control whatever this is that somebody had going on, it's real bad. The Ten of Swords is out here twice. This person was obsessed with ending you. They wanted to see you collapse. Really obsessed with ending you. Nine of Swords, this person going to face some sort of embarrassment, 
heartbreak, loss. This person might even got sick doing this shit. It's going to be their karma. They're going to be burdened and they're going to be stressed the fuck out. They're going to get real bad karma for whatever this is. And you could even, with this Queen of Cups, you could even be loving, caring. You ain't got to be a water sign. You can be a water sign, but it could just be like, that's what you exude. That's even what you put into your new beginnings and what you love. And somebody was obsessed. You became somebody's obsession. And they wanted to see you. They did some cruel things to you. They wanted to see you down bad, heartbroken, sick, desolate. I mean, no more. Like, fucked up. Like, they went hard. Somebody went hard. Somebody went hard. I mean, somebody went in. <laughs> like, on the real, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Somebody went hard. And the energy that's in this, like... They went hard. They went hard. Like, this is sad. They went hard. They tried to destroy. When I say destroy, they tried to destroy your ass. Three of swords, ten of swords, ten of swords, nine of swords, straight cruelty. Twenty nine, thirty two, and a magician got a sword. Thirty three swords, and it's not including this eight of swords because that's you locked in, entrapped, and focused on learning your projects, what you love, tunnel vision. But outside of that, the magician got a sword, three of swords. The, the ten of swords out here twice and the nine of swords. 33 swords. You could even be some sort of master. Rituals. Splitting the deck. There was many rituals being done on you. Like, this is insane. Y'all know I gotta find out who was doing this shit. <laughs> Confirmation. Y'all know we about to find out. <laughs> Doing this wicked weird shit. This is a wicked weird shit. They was going hard. I'm telling you, this person was uncaging all kinds of spirits. This person was even doing reflection magic. So this person, not only was they uncaging all kinds of spirits and doing bullshit, right? It could have, whatever they was doing, it could have been uncaging things within you. Your tongue is a gift. But whoever you are, while they was uncaging and doing all of this bullshit, you was just cherishing each day, regardless of what was going on. But this person was doing reflection magic too. They wanted to reflect you. They wanted to mirror you. So while trying to destroy you, they wanted to become you. They wanted to mirror you. Like, is this is, woo. This is somebody that could have wanted your journey. They tried to transform your journey. I'm telling you, they tried to transform your, transform your journey and invoke your power. This person was trying to cause undenying change in your life. I mean, fuck you up. Fuck you up. And this person was a, yep. Yeah. This person was trying to silence you too. Because your tongue is a gift. This person was trying to keep your ass quiet from what they was doing. This person was on your ass too with all this mischief. 
This person was on your ass. This person was even sending you seduction magic. This person was getting it in, boy. Roots. Top of the deck. Releasing banshees and shit. Wanting you to bleed out. Wanting you to be in your feelings. Going through it. Calling on nature spirits. Planting roots. Like this motherfucker was getting busy. Roots, spells, oceans. Like, damn. Messing with your voice. This person could have even wanted your voice. Like, damn. This motherfucker wanted to take your voice and everything. Tempting you. Calling on elders. This was a witch. Or a warlock that was doing this. This person even called on like older witches, seasoned witches, seasoned warlocks and shit. This person was also trying to stir up your senses. And they was doing death magic on you in graveyard magic. Trying to plant your ass right there so that they can evolve into you. Now tell me that ain't crazy. Somebody nuts. And when I say they was on it, they was on it. Like, this is scary. This is like, this is like some lifetime shit. <laughs> this some lifetime shit. This is some straight up lifetime shit. Shit, hell, you might can even turn this into a scary movie. The way this motherfucker was going hard, boy, I'm telling you, like. This is evil. This is so motherfucking evil. There could be somebody to even know about this and they ain't saying nothing. There's a player that know something about what this person was doing. No comment. They don't want to say shit. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. There's a player that know somebody was doing this shit. This could be somebody that's into you. You could have a great vibe. You could be positive or whatever the case may be. Or this person, this person could be into you, not telling you. This person could have, because this person could have some crazy options. Some crazy options. Or it's a player didn't know about this and he just a player. Like whatever, he got a lot of options making dirty offers to other people and all kinds of shit, or this a player that's doing this shit. This person could be into you, but they got a lot of options, and they make a lot of dirty offers to people, and it could be one of their options that was doing this shit to you. And I mean, they made it a daily routine. And this person got a daily routine of making dirty offers to options and shit. Doing the most. Doing the most. And this person was locked in with a spiritual hater that hates on your light, your magic, and your power. Locked in with them, trying to move in silence. But here it is. They trying to get the inside scoop and a closer look into your business. Somebody could have been trying to get the inside scoop on you because you could be known for ghosting. You could be like, uh-uh, I'm out of there. <laughs> when you feel like some shit played out, you be like, nah, I'm good. I'm out of there. Yeah, you don't want to be a part of this person and they player ways or they love triangles and shit that shit in reverse you don't want to be involved you feel like that type of shit played the fuck out 
So you abort mission. Somebody also could have got some sort of abortion. There's man abuse here too. Yeah, you escaped the devil. That don't even belong in here. You be you be walking away from karmics and devils and low vibrational energies and stuff like that. People who fake smile in your face and shit. Yeah, somebody is bothered and intimidated by you because you be out of there. <laughs> it's a woman scorn. They bothered and intimidated because you be out of there. So these people could have even teamed up with the Three of Pentacles. Somebody could have been teaming up and collaborating with the devil to go against you. It's a woman scorned who ego hurt. Hurt ego? Threatened? Bothered? Intimidated? Yeah, this person is guilty of fucking letters over with no shame. A karmic, an obsessive lover. Unhealthy, dangerous, toxic, possessive, and karmic. Ooh, could be a Virgo. This motherfucker was going crazy. Toxic, obsessed lover. This could be a man. Is this a man doing this to her? No. This is a feminine. Okay. Is this feminine the Virgo that was doing this and I'm having all of this shit done? Yeah, this the crazy motherfucker. This Virgo energy. Obsessive, karmic, and dangerous ass lover. But this person gonna get bad karma though. For everything they was doing, this person is, I mean, even in the energy, like, this shit is like, yuck. We gonna find out who they was collaborating with, but this person getting bad karma for um, what they been doing to you. This person is a weirdo. Something about uh, a low IQ, uncontrollable emotions, DUI, DWI. This person could be living in the past. This could be something that's going on or went on in the past or something like that with them or somebody else. Yeah, this person mental illness indicated. So this really a crazy person. It's a mentally ill person. Anything else? You had a mentally ill, mentally challenged person going crazy on your ass. With work. Karma. This, and this person still doing it. This person has not learned. This person in a south node. Karma. This person has not learned their life lessons yet. This person in they self know and they're going to get karma. This person going to be on the bottom of the wheel or this person going to end up in... The karma is the graveyard. This Virgo going to pass up, pass away. This, this Virgo going to die. Unfortunately. Let me pull my mental health deck real quick. This Virgo gonna die. For everything that this, uh, that she did. You could be any sign. I'm gonna pull some, um, some, um, you could be any sign. This Virgo gonna pass away. I'm gonna pull some signs to see who was collaborating with this person. But this person gonna, this person karma is the graveyard. Since they like to do graveyard work or get graveyard work done, they're going to be in there.
they're going to be in there. This person could have been trying to talk about you in that type of manner. Something about a child here. This person could have a child. This person be getting talked about too. But they people ain't shit because they, they people need to help them. Yeah, this person mentally, mental health. This person be stealing from you. This person could have been doing all of this shit to you and then talking about you in private. This person really mentally ill. This person is like a child. This person is like a child. Or they can have a child. But this person was stealing from you, talking about you in private, but get doing all of this work and getting all this work done on you. This person need to take a bath. This person could want to self-harm. This person could suffer from PTSD. This person is very impulsive. If you absolutely have to take meds, please do take care. This person got some psy um, psychotic disorders. Bottom of the deck, self-harm. So this person don't know no better, but this person need to get help. Self-destructive behavior. This person could like to listen to music. You could be praying or this person need to pray for some sort of help or something like that. You could have been through some trauma, which can cause some form of, you know, situations for yourself too, but you could still have a quality of life. It's not your fault. <clears throat> this person could have a personality disorder too and a mood disorder. This person possibly hasn't cleaned up in a while. You need to get to it. This person really just need help, but this person may be like just too far gone to even get it. So you need to know that it's not your fault for what this mentally ill person been doing to you. This person just has some disorders, personality disorders and psychotic and all kinds of shit. So it's not your fault. You could be one to ask yourself, like, well, why, you know, would somebody want to do this to me? Did I do something? Or, you know, you could be like a self-check person trying to see, like, okay, what have I done to make da 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 But there's nothing that you have done. This person is a psycho. And mean and cruel that's all but um hmm This could have been behind a man. That's why, I like, a little part of me, like, feel bad because this person mentally fucked up and mentally challenged. But the other part is, like, go to hell because this is over a man. This is over a fucking player. Who was collaborating with this um, Virgo? 
who is collaborating with this Virgo? What signs do they have in their chart? Who is collaborating with this Virgo? A Cancer. A Aries. A Sagittarius. Shit, a Leo flew across the flow. A Pisces. There could be a Gemini. Was anybody else collaborating? A Virgo. Another Virgo was collaborating with this person. A Libra was collaborating with this person. And a Capricorn. And a Scorpio. I just wanted to do this more time. Okay. So a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Pisces, a Aries, a Sagittarius, and a Cancer, and the Leo flew all the way over on the flow. These people teamed up or collaborated with this person at a time or another to do whatever this is. This could even be people that they hired to do work and stuff like that if they didn't do it themselves. This could even be people that joined in and teamed up just to be on some cruel type shit or just to be against you or to just be on this person's side. There's a Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, and a Capricorn and a Leo that was in on it with this crazy ass, <laughs> crazy ass, psychotic ass Virgo. And they all, this just flew. They getting karma. Anybody who was teaming up with this person, you're going to get some form of karma. Anybody who was helping this psycho, doing anything for this psycho, you're going to get karma. Let's see if there's anything else we need to know. I did see some cards that... It didn't belong in this deck, though. Gonna see if we need to know anything else about them, and then we're gonna wrap this up. I gotta get them cars that um, flew over. So, this flew over here. And this goes in here. Is there anything else we need to is there anything else we need to know about this? Yes. Okay, I guess it ain't done. I guess there's some more we need to know about whatever this is. I'm gonna pull another Oracle deck. And then, um, uh, yeah.
And then I'm going to wrap it up unless we need to know some more after this Oracle deck. So we're going to pull from what's the news. Uh, shoot, that's good. That's some luckiness. Hey, it don't matter. That's some good luck right there. Yeah, we have well played. Somebody was using children or a child as manipulation. Great move. Yeah, somebody's miserable as fuck. Whoever's trying to use a child or children is manipulation. Nice work. Very clever to try to use children as manipulation. But if somebody stay or deal with somebody that's using a child or children as manipulation, they miserable as fuck. Miserable as fuck. Somebody did this to get closer to somebody using a child or children as manipulation. High key, something is obvious, something need to be said out loud. This person got beef, stalking, still stalking, like it's some type of beef or something. They still stalking and they seeing you on cloud nine, still high off life. Uh, on fleek, so all that they did, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> So they, they still see you on, on point and everything. People giving you compliments and shit. And encouraging you. See, you ain't doing too much. Doing the most, reverse. This person could be like threatening you or whatever the case may be. Or this person be threatening you, maybe to somebody else, to not leave, and this man that had enough. But this person is not sorry about it. This person is really bitchy. Porn hunt confirmation. This person could threaten to hurt you, but it don't even matter though. This person could be really aggressive, but it don't even matter because. That person going in the graveyard regardless. So it don't even matter who they be threatening because they're going to end up in the graveyard. <laughs> That's it. That's all. So this person ain't got to care. They ain't got to be remorseful. They ain't got to be nothing because they're going to end up in the graveyard. That Virgo will be having a funeral. So this person be trying to dodge you because this person is crazy. So somebody could try to, somebody could be into you. They dodge you. Because of this crazy person. And they need a deep cleaning because they be dealing with this person. Maybe you shouldn't deal with this man. Because this person dealing with a fucking psycho. Yeah, this man is not good for you. Right now at all. This man is out of touch and closed minded and need a deep cleaning. They could be even dealing with this person. This basic unoriginal insult of a bitch. This bitch is an insult. Unexciting in the whole nine. Just basic as fuck. And it ain't nothing wrong with a basic woman, but this a basic bitch to do evil shit. This is somebody ex. This bitch hurt because she a basic ass bitch. Shots fired straight to the heart because you be shitting and stunting. That's why this bitch wants you to flatline. Because she need her love spells to work so she can have her toxic ass relationship. That's about it. But this man is happy with somebody else. This minding a business. <laughs> this man is happy with somebody else. This minding a business to stay at the crib. So whoever this Virgo is, they was doing love spells on the player. But both of these people low vibrational, though. Like, they both the same.
Yeah, you could be saying, fuck these people. You got the middle finger up. Somebody could have got busted or and somebody could have got busted doing something and broke up with this person. Busted, broke up. You could have even, uh, since this person was still holding on to this person, you could have been like, you know, bye. <laughs> you could not want to deal with this person. Somebody could be popular, going viral. Somebody might instantly become famous. And somebody is stalking somebody. A fan, stalker, and obsessed. Energy warning. Don't trust this stand. There's a stand that's obsessed. This person friends be having a back and doing this savage ass bullshit. These people don't give a fuck and you don't give a fuck either. You have no problem with putting a bitch in a place. And you could be a spiritualist. You could search for the meaning in life. You could put a bitch in her place from the spirit realm. <laughs> you could put a bitch in her place from the spirit realm. And that be having their ass shook. Because you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to talk to them. You ain't got to touch them. You ain't got to do shit. You ain't got to do no magic. You ain't got to do no spell work. You ain't got to talk to them. You ain't got to touch them. You ain't got to do shit. You'll put her bitch in her place from the spirit realm. And it be having them shook and speechless. Surprised and unsettled. Maybe motherfucking shook because you ain't got to be near and you ain't got to do shit. That's that no hands. That's when spirit move for you. You ain't got to do nothing. You could pray. These ratchet hoes, these inelegant, unappealing, nasty hoes be shook. They be shook like, huh? Because they want your power. They want your power. Because like how you do shit, how you move. Shit, they want your power. It's your power they want. This ratchet ass hoe. You ain't getting it. <laughs> you won't have it. You ratchet motherfuckers will just be looking shook, dumb, and stupid. Because y'all ain't getting shit. What you can get is put on blast though and called the fuck out. That's about it. You can get embarrassed. You can get exposed, but you ain't getting this person's power. That's, you, that's all you can get is put the fuck on blast. That's about it. You ain't getting any power, though. That's about it. That's all you can get. And that's a hundred. This person keep it a hundred, too, when you get put on blast as well. They don't have hidden motives or nothing. They just put it out there, shit. They be honest. And that's all you can get is put on blast, and this person gonna keep it a honey with you. That's about it. And this person then had enough of this these obsessed third parties and crazy bitches full of problems. And they didn't had enough of y'all trying to keep up with them through social media too. Like, damn, this person could have even blocked y'all off of social media and y'all still keeping up with them. Ain't that a blimp? This person ain't doing nothing but praying for better days and worrying about their own ass. Meanwhile, y'all trying to be shady or y'all think this person high in something they not... Think this person's suspect. They be praying and trying to block you motherfuckers out. That's it. So people be thinking like they think that you being shady or you got a hidden motive or something suspicious about you or you suspect or you untrustworthy. But look what the fuck these motherfucking clowns be doing. Get the fuck out of here. 
but you the one suspect. No, you be praying and your prayers get heard and they get checked and it's starting the spirit. And that's why they be shook. Sus, they looking at you sus because you're blessed. That's what came out. Because you're blessed and luck is always on your side. And even when they do these type of things to you, you still be good. Mm-hmm. So one of these motherfuckers is they're gonna be hunted by that shit that you blessed, and that mental breakdown is ahead. Cause that's what's about to happen for somebody. They about to lose their shit and have a mental breakdown and financial troubles ahead. That's what's about to happen. And something gonna happen with their job. Career worries. Whatever you predicted, or this could be you that predict things. Whatever you predicted is gonna come to fruition. Yep, whatever you predicted for this copycat, it's going to come to fruition. Something might end up going viral. Anything else? This copycat could have wanted to go viral or something. You, When you go viral, this copycat going to be salty. Bitter jealous annoyed or this person was just salty because somebody could have liked you and felt like you know you should be theirs so that's what had this person salty and doing all of this shit to you somebody could want to chill with you date you, somebody feel like you lit. And that could make this person bitter, salty, whatever, but that ain't your problem. And now this person gonna have to die behind it. That's crazy. This person gonna die behind some dumb shit like that. That's some dumb shit. I wouldn't want to die behind no shit like that. And it's a player. This person got plenty of women all over his whatever, and she targeting you. Okay. You're, you will sure enough see what's going to occur for you and what's going to happen for you because it looked like the grave. And that's going to be the ending. Which is everybody's ending, but you know, you made a sped your shit up. But it's always something to be grateful for. Be grateful that all of this person's plots and plans and things that they wanted for you didn't come to fruition. Be thankful that even though this person was ganging up and having other people involved and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, that... <clears throat> This part, it still didn't prevail. Many against one still ain't do shit. But they gonna perceive karma. But we have here the words of Yahweh are pure. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. So Yahweh gonna get the glory in this situation. Because like I said before, you're not doing nothing to these people. And on the real, I'll be wanting to say that it ain't even the divine that's doing nothing to these people. They just getting back what they put out. So it's theirs. They did it to themselves. Your Yahweh will bless you in all your harvest and all the work of your hands and your joy will be complete. In him, our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Yahweh, even as we put our hope in you. Great is Yahweh. He is most worthy of praise. Yahshua is not only a remedy for your weariness and trouble, but he will give you an abundance of the contrary, joy and delight. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for your Yahweh will be with you wherever you go. The steadfast love of Yahweh is from everlasting to everlasting to those who fear him. I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. 
Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.